Hi guys, um, I just finished reading another book. Today was my day off and my husband and kids won out, they had a birthday party and then he took them to roller skating uh, where we used to go like 15, 20, not having, no, it was like 20, 25 years ago, probably 25 years ago. Um, so yeah, it was like a retro thing for them. So I spent all day reading. I read The Girl Who Stepped Swimming by Jocelyn Jackson. And this to me was a very good book. Um, it was 308 pages. The text is like this. And I'll read the back to you. It says, Laurel Gray Hawthorne hasn't seen a ghost in the 13 years she and her husband have lived in their beautiful gated community. Then in the dog days of a Florida August, she wakes to find Molly, her daughter's best friend, standing by her bed, who then leads her to her own small body floating lifelessly in the Hawthorne's pool. Laurel's carefully constructed existence cracks and the past seeps through. Laurel and her sister Talia grew up in what looked like a typical blue-collar home, but the Greys have long been hiding a skeleton in their closet. While Laurel built her perfect life, Talia became an actress with a capital A, a woman who doesn't fit in Laurel's tidy world. Now Molly can't rest until someone learns her secrets. Laurel turns to her sister and together they begin a journey that will unearth their family's history, the true state of Laurel's marriage, and what really happened to the girl who stopped swimming. Um, realistic fiction. Um, love these kind of books. So, um, it says it's about, you know, trying to dig into the past of the girl Molly that died, basically, and how she died, what ex actually happened. Um, and talks about, uh, Laurel seeing ghosts. Um, she actually did see Molly's ghost, like, the first page, I think it was, um, and discovered Molly's, um, body floating in her pool. Um, but it's really not about that. Um, there's more to it, you know, there's, there's other layers, other stories, um, that come out of this, uh, like her past, uh, starts to, to take, a step to the forefront of her life now and that it just brings back stuff. Um, Laurel's got a daughter, Shelby, as you know, it's in, that was Shelby's best friend who died. And, um, Laurel's mother used to live in like this rundown place. Um, she was really, really poor and Laurel's dad rescued her from there. So every Christmas, Laurel's mom and Laurel and her sister go and bring the people that, you know, their family, still their cousins and that that still live there, bring them, um, stuff for Christmas and that. And Laurel let her daughter become a pen pal of one of the girls that lives there. Now, of course, they're a little iffy on the people there because they're into drugs and just low life and stuff like that. You know, they don't try. Um, but the girl that she let her be pen pals with was still in school, didn't drop out. She was like in seventh grade and, and Laurel seemed promising her. So she let her daughter become pen pals with her. And then her daughter invited her to come stay with them. And uh, so this is the second time that the girl's staying there. And she's actually staying there when this other girl, Molly, drowns in the pool. And, of course, the cops come in. Everybody's trying to figure out, like, first of all, why is she at their house after dark? Why is she in her pool? Like, how did all that happen, you know? Um, and the suspicions uh, start to lead to a strange man that lives in the neighborhood. Um, and, you know, it's just a lot of, um, you know, um, just trying to figure out who done, who, you know, like, there's foul play met with it, you know? Um, and... A lot of other things get brought up, like uh, Laurel's marriage to her husband. There's a little bit of that played into it. Her daughter, her sister Talia is a big part of the story. Um, and their past, when Talia and Laurel were uh, young, when they were kids, something happened um, or almost happened to them. Um, and there was a death in the family. Um, so what they thought had really ha or what Laurel thought really happened really didn't happen. So that comes out the truth on that. And then at the very end of the story, when they finally find out what actually happened to Molly, um, I, that's my favorite part. That was like really good. I don't know if anybody's seen Orphan, the movie, um, but how they adopted the orphan girl and then there was already a child that of their own that lived there and the orphan girl tried to you know she was perfect in every way but she had an, a hidden agenda this is like what this book was like um kind of sort of um 
So it was really good. It's so hard for me to do a review without giving anything away. Um, like Wings, when I did that, I did do spoilers because I was so upset by that book. Um, but a book that I like, I don't want to rent for anybody else. Um, so yeah, I can't really say. So this kind of went back and forth between the past and the present. There's a murder mystery. Well, it wasn't a murder mystery, sorry. There's a mystery going on, trying to find out, like I said, about Molly. Um, uh, just, you know, stuff. Um, God, I wish I could say. Um, it's a good read. It's a good read. I give it four stars out of five. Um, yeah. So it actually has a review by Sarah Gruen, who wrote, uh, who wrote Water for Elephants. She said, left me breathless. You must read this book. And then there's other reviews in here. Denver Post, People, uh, Family Circle. Um, there's actually two other pages of reviews. No, three other pages of reviews. So it's a, it's a good book. The Girl Who Stopped Swimming, Jocelyn Jackson. So yeah, pick it up, read it. All right, um, I think I'm going to read Revelations, uh, the third book in the Blue Blood series, um, because I want to get that series out of the way. Um, and that one's not real long, so I think I'm going to sit down and start reading that one now. So I have 105 subscribers now, and I was thinking that every 100 that I get, I'll send out a book. I'll do what I did with my last when I got 100 subscribers. So, um, And then I was thinking about maybe starting a blog um, because there's so much that I want to say, and I can, like, type it instead of, especially if it's only something that's a few minutes, um, I don't have to make a video on it. I can just type it up in my blog. So I was thinking about doing that, but I'm not really consistent all the time, and so I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, um, how that'll go. Um, if I'll lose interest in it, you know, my attention span. So, all right, that's about it. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.